apologize about this, but I'll have to end things here today. To make up for the time that was planned for this panel, the Rakugo Research Club will instead be... I can't say anything in detail regarding the Phantom Thieves' investigation, but I feel another great stride will occur again soon. I hope you all continue to pay attention to what happens. Let's have a big round of applause for today's guest, Goro Akechi. Was that really our best course of action? He totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Why did Futaba have something like this? If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover... I knew it. She's... Oh, God. I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about what Akechi-kun said. <laughs> it feels like nothing bad could ever happen when you say that. And now it's time for your favorite shoujin tradition! The student sharing special! Round of applause, everyone! Sharing? I never knew we had such an event. Choose? I wonder who it would be. How about that fluffy haired girl over there? I choose you. Huh? Is he looking this way? Well then, come on up. He's talking to me, isn't he? Uh, uh, 
will get along quite well in the future. Just kidding. Who knows what may lie ahead? For now, I'm worried about what happened with Akechi-kun. But I have to say, my first post-festival party was quite fun. Though, I guess it's my last, too. Here. I'd like you to have this. I... bought it earlier. Now then, let's go home. The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. No countermeasure for the Phantom Thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But, sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. 
We need good results, no matter what. Oh, one more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Yes. Everything is proceeding as planned. <laughs> Jiro? I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I've read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain? Is it something that you can't explain? Explain? Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's... You will, huh? I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Was a, well, a change of heart triggered in you? <laughs> How about it? Ever since Mom died, I, there was n no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it. But I, I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> Wakaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too, but still. When she said she was gonna go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. First, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here, day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. So, Jiro. I think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <sighs> Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking, that she might soon die in an odd way. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. These scandals always seem to find their way around you. What do you have to say? Hmm. These 
These people are called criminals by the general public. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? So, he's not connected with the Phantom Thieves, but is one himself? <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Are you serious? You really are a Phantom Thief? Oh, for crying out loud! Sojiro! So, basically, I've been sheltering a Phantom Thief for the last six months. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. I... remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal! Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. And the outcome of that was me spending my retirement here. Also, the reason I took custody of you was me trying to selfishly atone for what happened to Wakaba. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And in the end, I'm the one being consoled. <laughs> I'm hopeless. And a laughingstock, aren't I? I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault. <sighs> I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. <laughs> I mean, who would believe such a story? Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Don't you get it? <laughs>